Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Hannah O oh, from Grand Haven Schools Foundation. Yes. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce the last That's name. That's okay. It's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for being here today. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. So tell me a little bit about the Grand Haven Schools Foundation and exactly what is it? Sure, so the Grand Haven Schools Foundation is a nonprofit organization on its own. It is established, it was established in 1994 with the mission um, to support education initiatives that increase school readiness and promote continued educational success throughout the preschool through fourth grade experience. So um, we do this through providing preschool scholarships and then also um, providing funding to the school district for literacy programs and social and emotional health programs. Okay. And how important is it or why do we need preschool? Sure, so research shows that 90% of the brain's architecture is built by age four. So um, there is a very small window of opportunity for us to um, reach these young early learners and make sure that they're getting all the pre-literacy skills that they need in order to be prepared for kindergarten. And how, um, if somebody is in need of um, having preschool uh, paid for them, then how do they go about reaching you? Sure, so they can contact either our organization through ghsf.org or they can reach out directly to Grand Haven Schools. So um, someone at the Education Service Center will take care of them. Um, qualifying three and four year olds are eligible and it is income based and they would just apply in that same format and then um, go through the steps there. So tell me about the impact that you guys have had over the years in Grand Haven. Sure. So since 2005, we've provided over 700 preschool scholarships in just this area. So I'm not talking about other school districts. I'm just talking about Grand Haven Area Public Schools. So 700 preschool scholarships is a pretty big number. And, you know, if we weren't able to provide those, these children likely wouldn't have been able to attend preschool at all, meaning they would pretty much you know, be behind their peers rather than ahead and prepared. And once um, these children fall behind, it's very unlikely that they're able to get caught back up again. And um, you know, the rest of their um, education traje trajectory and experience sure. can be a little more difficult. Um, and also since just 2016, we've provided $70,000 to the Grand Haven wow. Area Public Schools um, to support additional literacy programs and social and emotional health programs. And again, those wouldn't otherwise be possible um, due to budget constraints mm -hmm. for the school district. So we are so um, fortunate and happy to be partners alongside of the schools and work so closely with them to be able to support them in their um, their areas where they have the highest priorities, right. which is that literacy. Sure. Um, talking about money, I mean, that's a lot of funding. What is kind of your funding model? How do you raise that, sure. that kind of funding? So we have a pretty um, diverse revenue stream. We've got um, the Hall of Fame event, which happens every three years, and that does serve as our largest fundraiser. We have corporate contributions, we have individual donors, and additional um, fundraisers such as Art at the Yard. And the Schools Foundation, the Hall of Fame event, tell me briefly about that. Sure, so the um, Grand Haven High School Hall of Fame event, uh, traditionally it was held every two years, but now we have adjusted that to be hosted every three years. It is a Hall of Fame year this year, 2019, but really the purpose of the event is to celebrate and honor the graduates that have gone on to do great things. Um, from Grand Haven mm -hmm. High School, but then also to provide real life role models to our early learners that are coming up through the education system here in Grand Haven. Do you know any of them? Well, you know, I've been in this role for about 10 months. Uh -huh. So um, at this point, you know, if you want to look back and see all the people that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame, we have the complete list on our website. And I'm getting to learn, um, sure. you know, more of who those individuals are. And it's really, you know, a great celebration. And our community really wraps its arm arms is around this event which is which is great and um, at it's, this point we're getting a lot of nominations sure. which is fun to look at yeah. as well and I know it's a wide range of people it's athletics it's academics it's um, just people who have done great things yes yep yeah, so it's so not it's just, just an athletic Hall mm -hmm. of Fame we talk about um, the career and um, social service to the public school system. We also talk about cultural and performing arts. So um, we pretty much cover all categories, not just the athletics. Sure. And it's amazing to see these people and what they've done in their lives after leaving Grand Haven. So, exactly, yeah. and yeah, we we want to do just that: celebrate what they've done and showcase, you know, how how excellent of a role model they can be mm -hmm. to our 
um, early learners here in Grand Haven. Early learners and high schoolers as well. Exactly. I know they go in and talk to them, so they're a great inspiration. Yes, yeah, most definitely. Event. Good. So tell me a little bit about the business case uh, for preschool. Sure. So. Um, Really, we think about um, the business case for preschool. We want people to be investing in early childhood education. So um, for every dollar we invest in early childhood education, there's a $3 return. So a three to one ratio is, is pretty great. And when we are talking about building up our workforce and providing skilled workers, we're talking about um, you know, just enhancing our, our workforce and our economics um, here in the Grand Haven community. So we really want people to be investing in our children because that just means they're investing in our future here in the community. Great. And have you had any feedback from parents or teachers that, you know, their, ch their children have gone through preschool and the benefits of that? Most definitely. So when we talk to parents, they're saying, you know, a lot of times the children are um, engaging in creative learning, they're able to learn more words, they're able to learn to read more quickly, and they're learning those skills that they need to be successful not only in the classroom but in life um, for the rest of their years. So yeah, we're just talking takes about the future. Exactly. We're talking about um, problem solving, respecting their peers, mm -hmm. sharing, you know, and creative learning, all those necessary things that, that they need to be successful as they go. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, thanks for doing that. Sure. Um, so if somebody wants to get involved, they want to donate, they want to learn more about it, how can they go about doing that? Absolutely. So you can call me, you can email me. Um, all of our information is on our website at ghsf.org. Perfect. Is there anything else that you need to add? That's it. I mean, if anyone you know has any questions about preschool or why it's important or you know what um, their donations may be going towards, I'd be happy to have conversations over the phone um, to talk more in depth about all those details because it's it's really an important and a crucial piece here in our community. Great. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.